wrong button. We're off to investigation time. Well, I better start by checking on the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim identity is unknown. Well, that's... They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim has been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They also... They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old? The fuck? The body was covered with other wounds. These... So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no other choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what. I have to find out what happened. Or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Alright. We got one evidence down. Okay, we got plenty of evidence it feels like. Let's search. Okay, it's time to get started. I need to check everything that's important from one end to the other. I just need to do whatever I always do. First off. It looks like the fragments are something. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure about it, but... I feel like I've seen this, uh, seen something like it before. It looks like a rock. But where? What the hell is it? Wait, what? Was it there? I could double check that later. Fragments near the dead body, but been added to the truth bullet section in your hand. What the fuck is that thing? Okay, we just know it's fragments. Murder weapon is a knife. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this... It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over there. Monokuma... Wait a minute. Why is it clean? The blood... There's no blood in the knife at all. Monokuma said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. Does this mean this knife is what this fatal injury? Either way, this knife... It looks really familiar. Wait, is this?! That's it! It's the knife that person was holding! This is getting really weird. There are just too many strange coincidences. Whoever this person is in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And the same kind of knife was used to stab the same masked attacker we found here. So, maybe this masked person got stabbed because... They, when they attacked, I was, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife, and maybe then I, I. And if this really is Kyoko, you mean Kyoko's the one that attacked me? Why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No, it can't be. There's no way. Knife for the senior crime. All right. There's no blood in the knife, so that's definitely suspicious. As for the dead body itself, if I check the body more thoroughly, maybe I'll find something for sure, if it's Kyoko or not. First off, let's... Whoa, what is this thing? Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh. These are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they'd get in the way of normal activity. Okay. Fake nails have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I doubt that's Kyoko, because I... There's also something in the back of her right hand. Is that tattoo? Got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but... It looks like a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Ooh, excuse me. Tattoo on the right hand. Something that had been added to the truth boards. So... Assuming that she was wearing gloves, we don't know. But if she wasn't wearing gloves, this is definitely not her. I gotta remember, though. Which I could probably do. But I don't think it shows up. Actually, now that this idea is happening, we don't know, yeah. And we can't have like a full body... Ah, uh, damn it, okay. That's gonna be tough. Alright, white robes. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. Didn't get wet? So the upper half has got wet? After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire. 
So I dumped the bucket of water on it. Oh! Shit. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? Uh... We didn't, I didn't know if the body was wet when we discovered the body, so that probably could cause a explain the time of death. Alright. This wound. Let's check it out. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one piece, little piece left. How about this chest thing? It was, really was boobs. They are kind of showing off nipples, I think. The upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion. So it's totally blackened. The top half of the body's wet. That's because it got set to fire, and I threw water on it. Since I only threw water on the part that was on fire, the top half of the bottom half is still dry. So that explains that there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Exploded body analysis. All right. Anything else? I think that's it. Is that all the information we can process? Fragments laying around the body. They're all burned, so I can really be sure. I saw something... I saw something a lot like this somewhere else. What the fuck is... Oh! The shack? I'm guessing? Alright. What's in the tool shed? This room is dusty and unrecognizable. Whoa, what is it? Is this a tarp? Wait, was there a tarp here before? I should probably look into that and be value to the case. Alright. Let's see here. The top is wet and uncovered in mud and grime. But the underside is totally clean and completely dry. On one side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. Alright. That could be a good evidence. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. God, this is going to be a confusing trial, isn't it? I guess we're going to see everything. This is it. No, we can't examine the shovel because I thought that red thing was that, but I guess not. Something crazy car, okay. I don't think this manure had anything to do with the case as well, but... Or these pottery plants? Or the lawnmower? Wait, what about the lawnmower? There's a little bit of red thing here. Hmm, I don't think it has anything to do with the mystery corpse, okay. So I guess nothing except for the tarp then. Alright, tool shed. Nothing. Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? I remember there was some kind of chicken in the chicken coop. Four chickens? Yo. What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in there? Five. Of course, there were precisely five. Yeah, right. Hmm, what's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens then. What? What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna be the impact of the structure of the world. Piracy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore. Okay. Wonder if that related to the case. Okay, what else are we... I guess witnesses' testimony, why not? Listen, Makoto. Do you remember how the body looked... You remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right... Oh, if I remember right. It was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body is still wet. Hold on, be right back. Someone's at the door. Alright, sorry about that interruption. Byakuya said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much but for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any of it on the ground around it. 
So that's true. So maybe the bo dead body was placed here? Let me see. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember a lot better, too. So thank you, too. Alright. Okay, so no blood on the ground. Blood on the stomach. So it's possible that she would have died somewhere else, maybe? Okay, well, she, you're totally helpful. Wait, what? Is there something else? Dead body, fragments... Nothing, okay. Yeah, so here, what do you gotta say? Hmm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? Serious. Oh, well, I was thinking about when we first found the body. When was the body found, huh? It should look back... I did move to help remember where it was. Monokumis woke me up around at 7 o'clock, as usual. Ooh, excuse me. And head off to the dinner table pretty soon. Once I get got there, I met up with Hina. That was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to get to the pickaxe, and then when she found the body... What time was it then? 9.01. <laughs> I'm guessing. That's right. It had to be right around 9 o'clock. Ah, not that you mention it, I think you're right. So I think we can say for sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job is done. Uh, it's a pretty small job. When the body was found. Oh, we should check in the gym see what's up too, if that's any indication. Good timing, Mom. I want to talk to you. <clears throat> what do you want to talk about? In other words... I'd like to hear your alibi. Uh, alibi? Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um... Well, I was sick, so I was asleep at all night. But why are you asking me about now? What about nighttime got to do with it? Isn't it obvious? The murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure? Because just after nighttime began, I came up to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hero began Hero's been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be there. I can confirm that there was <coughs> That when I arrived last night, there was no body here. Other words. So the murder could have taken place at some point during nighttime, after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were at the gym together the entire night last night. What? <laughs> Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's room to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone, and we even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us had airtight alibis. The only one who don't have alibis are me, are me and Mako uh, Kat <laughs> Kat Kyoko. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without it. Then I'm the only one without an alibi. Hmm. Also, when we went to get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. But you never came to the door. So where precisely were you? I'm telling you, I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so... That's hardly an alibi. I know. So what now? You seem to be quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Okay. That's gotta suck. Alright, so there's more to see here. Somewhere. Knife. Garden shed. I guess it's monitor thing? Can we look up the surveillance? This is one of the monitors Monokuma appeared on. It seems pretty useless when he's not on it. Actually, no, it's okay. What about this thing? Oh, yeah. It's the panel that controls the sprinklers. They're set to control on 7.30 every morning, and Monokuma said that the time, pos time positivity cannot be changed. Huh, hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? If the body was here before then, the sprinklers should have gotten wet. Which would mean the murder must have taken place. Not here, but the body was placed here. I think I've checked everything I need to do in this area, but I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. Specifically, the fragment that I found here. That, I still need to fucking remember where I could get that. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicion. And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. 
Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true. Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can't find uh, more questions about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never that kind of person to talk about herself that all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to talk. Find okay. He has it. All clear now. What? Just okay. I suck. I don't have a choice. I have to see if he'll let me borrow a key room. All right, Biakia. If not, you can at least escort me there. Hey, I'm Biakia. If you come up with an alibi, I'll be happy to hear it later at the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You have to get to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect after all. Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later and we'll see. Depending on my mood, I may go with you or I may not. Okay, then in the meantime, I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should check out that one area. Alright. That one area. This game's not really telling me what, what that one area is, so I probably wasn't paying attention. Uh, wait a minute. Does this area have anything to do with anything? I doubt it though, but... I don't think so. Nothing about this locker room seems suspicious. Yeah, I don't think this has anything to do with anything at all. Alright, let's get to the gym then. If we can't find anything here. Yeah, it looks like we have to go to the gym because there's an exclamation mark there. Okay, let's look at the gym and see what's up. I'm guessing that fragment was like a bomb? Okay, bomb's gone. But the Monokuma thing's still there. Alright, let's see. Monokuma's laying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. You know? Right, okay, so that's what the rep thing was. I just found something. What was it? What is it? It's. Mm -hmm. hmm. And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about it. That fragment I found in the garden. Okay. Fragments near the dead body have been updated. Okay, I checked everything else. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. I should have to the garden and ask Backtracking! Woohoo! Alright, this has been a long investigation, too. Okay, Biakia. Oops, shit, oops, not you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. How about now, Byakuya? You think you can go soon, Byakuya? No. I want to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well, let's go. Okay. Let's check out Byakuya's room. Uh, not Byakuya's room. Kyoko's room. Is this it? This is it. I can't unlock it myself. I need to ask Byakuya. Well then, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's go. Looks like any other ordinary room. There's a notebook though. So this is Kyoko's room. What's this? There's something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. What? What's that? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. The lockers. Oh, <laughs> to the. Uh, I wouldn't know. I never got to the public bathroom. It doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture. <laughs> it's certainly. But if it is a key, I might want to know what it locks. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I saw. Okay. All right, number six, one key. Anything else? Bad surveillance camera. These things don't, these guys don't even pack that much, do they? Let's check the bathroom and then we'll talk to Byakuya and that seems to be it. 
Articles hanging out to dry. I better not look inside. What? You want to come here, right? So what is you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some clue here. Come on. <laughs> Different, more concrete. Okay. Earlier, Kyoku gave me something. Huh? What's this? Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it. Hmm. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Well, something certainly has happened, so opened it. Okay. Single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? That's all there is to it there. Well, let's check it out. What's this? I found a crumpled old a piece of paper. What is this a scavenger hunt? Class number 78, student registry. Host to grab me number 78, student registry. Makuro Ikusaba, sex, half, uh, and a bunch of Japanese stuff. I see. It appears to be Mukuro Ikusaba's profile. Yeah, looks like it. It's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room along with the key. God, you're so annoying. The key and that's it. it must be the blank that Mokum was talking about. Kyoko said a said a death without meaning was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgence. Hurry up and finish your searches. I made an effort to pull myself together and look down at the profile sheet. Name, Mercury Kusaba. Sex, female. The ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up no information and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she didn't ha she hadn't been kidnapped, that she didn't she received battle training of her own volition. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Okay, that's probably something, right? The Ultimate Soldier, a mercenary group. That doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in, it's like a completely different dimension. It's like one one's non-fiction and the other is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare the two. That's how different this is. That was how I saw things, as just an ordinary person, but then... I see. I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Truly. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says the Fenrir has already... Found it! Whoa! I feel like our hero is becoming a bit a bit player and a bit player is becoming our hero! Uh, it's you. Hmm. What have you gotten in your pretty little hand there? Uh-oh! You found our profile?! S so what if we did? Hey. Don't freak out on me! I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, don't hold it against Kyoko either. Even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out there and slice it up to devour it. Bears are omnivores, you know. What? Are rule violators really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Mm. Of course I am. 
A proper school life is built on the dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. Hmm. Oh, so you're saying you have followed your own rules as well? Of course. Absolutely! I can't have you complaining about how unfair it is, at all is, now can I? Hmm. In fact, on the subject of unfairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? It's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually... One of the participants in this killing game! Say what? I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there were, actually, did I? I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, okay. um... When you all first got together, it was the main hallway back when there were 15 people right there, right? I think that first meeting may have led a little misunderstanding among you all. Um, misunderstanding? Are you are you saying? That's right. There weren't actually 15 of you. Indeed. The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16. 16? Then. Yukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Okay. The 16th student, Mukuro Ikusaba. She's part of the school life. So the one making all the regulations is... Why? Huh? Did you say something? Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well, because... Like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I want to make sure everyone uh, was on the same page. I don't want to wake you in a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Yes, indeed. Makes sense. Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? Yeah. <laughs> I want to get back... Uh, I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kirigiri, so I'm gonna share a little secret with ya. S seriously? Um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? <laughs> Boo-hoo! Okay, now! That's all you get. Ooh, okay, so the likelihood of Kyoko's body being that are pretty high now. So that's kind of a scary thought. Monokuma's account. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars? Wait, so on the back of her hand... The tattoo... Wait, but no. Monokuma specifically said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wear those gloves to hide the scars, which means those fake nails on the corpse. Hmm. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? Such ignorance. God, God muster. Okay. Hmm. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 uh, students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. Obviously, Moku Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules to the game. But why would he tell us that, and why now? He said he didn't want to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuro is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of the 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Mukuro is related to the case? Certainly possible. Perhaps she's the one who killed Kyoko. What? Hmm. That would explain why we would have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student, and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Mukuro is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hmm. Anyone should be able to come up with that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. All clear now. Mokuro Ikusaba isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? We thought Mokuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good point. Mokuro well, giving us information, that would raise questions about her, about her would be bold to say the least. 
It makes more sense than to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So, that's the trap. They want us to suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. That's what makes sense to me. That way you say it, it definitely seems possible, but if that's really true, if Mukuro isn't the killer, then who is? Hmm. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there are plenty of other places in need of investigation. You really should. Alright, we have to do that too. Alright. Be right back in the next episode. Holy shit, 32 minutes. Yeah. This day counts for a long break, I feel.